Hey folks, well, I've got on with this carving. Um, now this is bandsaw work more than anything else and I had to set them up and I had to cut blanks using patterns. So if that interests you, this is the video for you maybe. Now there is some dodgy filming in it where I'm not properly in shot but I do try and correct it and you can see what's gone on and how it is and I've, ex I've explained it. Obviously if there is any questions let me know. Now always read the description below because I will put information in the description below yeah that might help you um what i have what what i have done is i've cut out blanks so from patterns what i've got off these although i've scaled these right down yeah uh the big piece of wood i bought i'm gonna have to use that uh but i'm also thinking of doing um a modern art display it's called it's called imagination and I might be a millionaire this time next year just because of it, to be honest you'll see what I mean, use your imagination but what I've also got to do before I do these is this is a little compo fridge magnet I've got to do a Nora to go with it and paint them uh, they're for a friend there, a job that I've got to do um, but what I will film is fully carving the Mary I'll show you that at the end not the fully carved Mary, but anyway, I'll get on with it and you can watch and you can even learn how to fold up a bandsaw blade, if you like bandsaw stuff that is. So guys, the nativity carving, I've scaled it all down and uh, one thing I've noticed, this is the download that, I'm, that I made from, from the internet and that's in scale, or rest are in scale side by side, although that cow needs that would have to be that's going to be cut off and go on top. Yeah, a bit wrong way around, you can't just fold it, whereas these could be folded and mounted. Uh, but the donkey is not in the same scale, that picture and that picture is not in the same scale. And what I mean is that is where's that be, say, a centimeter. That's one and a half centimetres. So I've printed it off here, but I will have to rescale that one to go into scale with rested in. Um that's very small. I'm going to try it. Uh, first what I'm gonna do using the blocks of wood what I've already got, not from that block, I've got a plan for that. Um I'll put these that just works. And I can always make him a li little less tall. That just works. That works with Mary. That just works with Joseph. And I could probably get the crib out of that piece. Yeah, sorry about the light. Still got light problems in here. I'm going to pull one of my uh, light sets to pieces. I need some strip lamps. I'm going to put probably two in here. And one in attic where the kids are. But music grew them. And hopefully uh, that'll make it easier to work in here. Now what I've got to do with these is cut them out and uh, get them going. I'm going to start with these and then do the, the other pieces after. Um, put that in my pocket. No, I didn't. I'll show you something else after as well. But I'm just going to rough these out. Now what I've got to do is change bandsaw blade to put a, a detail blade on. So I'll do that and then... I might actually video me cutting that if you want, that might interest you. I might actually show you what I'm, how, it, how that works, because what you tend to do is you cut it from both directions. I'll show you. And this beautiful piece of work will be uh, shown in the Tate Gallery, and it's called Imagination. And the idea of this is that, although it looks like just a block of wood, it's your imagination to work out what could what beautiful piece of art could could it be what it could be turned into you have to look for the sculpture and the carvings that are within that piece of wood so just because of that it could be on the market for somewhere well, well start offers will be starting at 500,000 pounds but we do expect it to fake up to 3 million don't tell me that the king's not wearing clothes so guys, 
straighten it up. As I'm changing this bandsaw blade, I just thought I'd show you. Now, this is not a massive bandsaw blade, obviously, right? But still, storing them's a bugger. Uh, once you've unfolded them, if you've never folded one back up again, it can be very difficult if you don't know. But watch, I've got my thumbs here, I'm gripping it here, and I'm twisting it. <laughs> And that's it, flips up like that. Yeah, do it again. Got my hands like this, thumbs down, and I'm basically twisting it until it flips on itself. Now, I don't mean as it flips because this is the short one, it can be a bit of a bugger. I don't mean it flips as such, I might just help it a little bit. Fold up like that. What happens if it don't fold up? It flips the other way around, so your blades are facing the other side. But as it twists, you help it twist and fold up, and uh, that's easily stored. Bonus material. I'll just say again, this is a steel blade, yeah, which I use for most things, even wood. And this is a new, thinner blade, which is. Better for detail and doing curves. Yeah. I have a ripping blade which is about that size, but a wooden blade <coughs> that I've sort of swapped over to that, whereas I don't where I can do most of the work with that, including cut aluminium and brass and other things. That's the reason. And that fits perfectly back in there. And that goes back in the cupboard. So guys, that's how this works. And what I'll do is, I'll cut that side out first and then I have to stick it back together and then cut that side out and then what comes out is a blank obviously you've only got so much detail in it then you do rest with knife obviously I'm not going to cut right close to the line I'm going to do, uh, you've got to, you know be reasonable about it but that gives you a blank, yeah and I would have done that same with others now that can be stuck on with uh, sp spray glue or double sided which I've done because I ain't got no sp spray glue. I thought I had, but I haven't. So that's one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut these two out. I'll set um, I'll set the GoPro up on to on, on bandsaw, and you can see how that goes, how that works out. So I hope you can see, what I've done is cut that side out, yeah, and that side. Now, I've got to stick them back together and cut that shape out, but I don't have to be as careful. Now I can neaten this up, which I'm going to do, yeah, oops, sorry, I can neaten this up if, as I'm going, what I'm going to do, but I, I, I don't have to be careful now, what I can do is just cut in and off. You tend to do more complicated side first, or well, well, easy side first, and then complicated side after. So then you're not left with lots of stuff. And what will come out here is a basic blank. Let's say I'm just going to nip in and do that, and do a little bit in there under the chin, and just rip that off. And all I've done is taped it together. Look, with clear tape, and that allows me now to run run it back on bandsaw, whereas if you were trying to cut that out without the back on, I wouldn't have had an even shape to work to, yeah?
So, as you've probably seen on the bandsaw, I've cut it out. So when I pull these away, that is my blank to work from. Now obviously, I need these reference pictures then. It's cutting all detail. Now the, the carvings that I usually do, I don't do like this. All them little men, I just go at them from sort of, well, however I want because they're just made up. Because, but because this is a pattern, I want to work from that blank. Now I need to do others. I'm not going to film that because you don't need to see it. You've seen that. Thank you very kindly. Just on another note, on these, I just realised after I stuck it to the block, fortunately I didn't cut it. That it's facing it wrong way. <laughs> By that I mean is if I fold that onto the block, that's his front and that's his back. So I've got to reorientate it so it can't be folded onto the block, it's got to be separated. So if anybody does download them from, from that link, the donkey's out of scale and some of the stuff's the wrong way around. You can't just stick them on block as they are, you've got to look. Because that would have gone like that, but it's actually got to go like that. You can't see, can you? It would have gone like that, but it's got to go like that. So that's just the thing about orientation and that donkey. So, if you are still here, right, and you didn't just skip to the end, <laughs> here's, here's the two pieces I cut out on the bandsaw, yeah? Now, I'm, I've drawn this in in thick pen, and that black bit's got to go. These are just a basic shape, and then I have to work from this. Although, one side will be imagination, and the other side is on paper yeah so they're never exactly the same that's the point and these i will be sanding and using small files to finish because they're all they are very small but but my mother-in-law's eyesight's not very good so she'll think they're beautiful anyway but anyway thank you nice to be nice <laughs>